seventh grade scholars, welcome back. You know you hear some acronyms about math a lot. This is one you may be familiar with. Mistakes allow thinking to happen. That is so absolutely true. But I found one that I love even more than that one. Math at Terry's house. You guessed it, I miss Terry. So today we're gonna to be dealing with transformations with specifically thinking about translations. The things that you're going to need today, you're gonna to need your notebook, you're gonna need a pencil. If you have graph paper, you can have that out and also colored pencils. Our objective of the day, I will be able to identify translations and reflections and I will be able to perform a translation on a triangle or rectangle vertically or horizontally. Before we get started though, I would like for you to look at these notes here. And I wanna just make sure that you remember just having a quick review on the coordinate plane and parts of the coordinate plane. Write these notes down as indicated in your notebook. So go ahead and pause the video. And once you are completed writing down your notes, come back with us. Awesome job. I'm sure you probably remember most of these notes for, of the coordinate plane, but I just wanted to be sure. So here we go. What's the difference between these two ordered pairs? Three, negative six, negative six, and three. Take about 10 seconds, so, you know, just what do you think, what's the difference? Can you tell me where they're located more importantly? Let's see, three, negative six. So if we think about the ordered pair, we know we start at our origin. So we're gonna go three, one, two, three, then we're gonna go down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I should have a point that's sitting right here. So that's, up. Oh, there you go, we got it. So we do remember how to plot a point. But then this one says negative six, three. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna go up three. One, two, three. So we should have an order point sitting here. So again, we wanna make sure that you remember how to plot your points. Remember X, then Y, so you wanna plot your X value, then your Y value. And you always wanna make sure you start from your origin, unless it's otherwise indicated. So what is the difference? In this case, they're in complete opposite. One is in quadrant two, the other is in quadrant four. That could have been one of your possibilities. Um, they're actually a translation of each other. That is a possibility if you already kind of know what translations are. So there's some things you could have put there. Just first, I just wanted to make sure you remember how to plot the point. So the vocabulary in which we're gonna be using over the next couple of weeks is going to be transformations, translations, reflections, the pre-image, the prime, and here are the vocabulary that's listed in the learning plan um, submitted earlier. Again, if you need to take the time, and I will encourage you to pause the video to write these terms and definitions down, because we will be referencing these often. Well, welcome back if you have paused the video so that you could have written down your definitions. Now, we are going to look at a video introduction on both translations and reflections. Remember, our objective today is we're gonna be really focusing on translations, but this kind of give us an introduction to both. Take a minute to look at the questions and the statements below. These are your video notes. They are also located in your learning plan for today. Take a moment and just kind of write down the words or the blank line so that you know what to look for while the video is playing. While you take that moment to write this down, or if you've already had it printed or side by side on your screen, I'm gonna go ahead and play your video. 
Today, let's talk about two types of transformations, called translation and reflection. In geometry, a transformation is a way to change of a figure. I'd like to show you how to find translations and reflections by using a coordinate plane. For triangle ABC, the ordered pair for point A is negative 3, 2. Point B is 1, 2, and point C is negative 2, negative 1. If we want to translate this triangle two units to the right, we will simply move each point two units to the right on the coordinate plane. Remember, to translate the figure, all points must move the same distance, and the orientation and size of the figure will not change. Let's get started. Keep in mind, when a point has a new location, that location will be called prime. Point A will move two units to the right, so the new location, also known as A prime, will be negative 1, 2. Point B will also move two units to the right, so the new location, known as B prime, will be 3, 2. Finally, point C will move two units to the right, so the new location, known as C prime, will be 0, negative 1. Great job! Now we have translated the triangle two units to the right. Our duplicate triangle is a translation of the first triangle. Mm -hmm. Examples of translations are all around us, and we translate objects all the time, even when we don't realize we're doing it. Now let's talk about reflections. Reflections are another type of transformation. With reflections, the duplicate object is the precise mirrored image, and the size does not change. The points of the figure will be exactly opposite on the coordinate plane. Figures can be reflected in many directions, across both the x-axis and the y-axis. Triangles can reflect along multiple lines, such as the hypotenuse or any of the legs of a right triangle. For triangle ABC, the ordered pair for point A is negative 3, 2. Point B is 1, 2, and point C is negative 2, negative 1. If we want to reflect this triangle, we will move each point to its opposite side of the y-axis. Point A will move to its opposite side across the y-axis to the new location. So A prime is 3, 2. B prime will be negative 1, 2. And C prime will be 2, negative 1. As you can see here, the duplicate triangle is a precise reflection of the first triangle. <coughs> Reflections are quite common. Designers really like to use reflections to give an appealing feature to architecture, furniture, and decorations. Next time you go outside, see if you can find some yourself. What a great introduction to transformations with specifically talking about translations and reflections. So now I want you to just look at how I actually translated this figure. Okay? We're just going to play this and we're going to look at it and then we're going to do some around. We're going to start with rectangle A, B, C, and D. So we're going to translate rectangle A, B, C, D down six units. So I can start with any one of my points. I'm just going to go ahead and start with D and that just means I'm going to move it six units down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is D prime. Here's B. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be B prime. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can think about my properties of rectangles, and I should know that I could. This is going to be parallel, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this point for A prime, or I can count them down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So here is my image from my pre-image, which is the original figure. But I want to know what my ordered pairs are going to be for my image. So I'm just going to write A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. Because I definitely want to know what they all are in case there is a question that determines which, if it's asking something different for each one. So let's look at A prime. Here's my origin on my x. Which way am I going? To the negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is negative 6, 0. Okay, because I'm not going up and down. Here's my b prime. 1, 2. That's negative 2, 0. 
And I'm going to go to C prime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. And then I'm, where am I? Negative 6. Then I go down. How many? 1, 2. So my Y is 2. And then I'm going to look at D prime. Negative 1, negative 2. And then I'm going to go down to negative 2. So those are my coordinates, my ordered pairs for my image, which is based on my pre-image here. All right, so what you're going to do is I'm going to ask you to do just a little bit more than I did because I'm going to want you to actually plot your points because we need to practice that and also come up with your pre-image. So this is what this is going to look like. You're going to list your order pair. So here's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to translate this image five units up. So you're going to create your order pair, or I mean, create your grid on your graph paper or on just your paper. Don't forget to have your equal intervals if you're doing it on just regular paper. So use your lines in your notebook to help you. Then I want you to actually plot your original figure, which is going to be called your pre-image. So go ahead and do that. So you have one, two, three points as indicated, point U, point M, point L. So that tells me that this is going to be a triangle. Once you have plotted your original figure, then go ahead and translate it up five units and trans and, and make that um, translation up and draw that, that image on your notebook, in your notebook or on your graph paper. But I also want you to give me the ordered pairs for that image as well. Go ahead and pause the video. Once you have that completed, come back with us and we're going to check to see where we are. Huh, there we go. Do yours look like that? If so, kudos to you. Awesome job. If not, it's okay. Look and see if you can determine where your errors are. So pause it, make sure yours look the same, but then I'm going to go ahead real quick to show you what your, where your ordered pairs will be for your image. So listed there are your ordered pairs for your image. So again, check to see if your answers are correct, and if not, see if you can determine where your errors are. Again, pause the video if you need to, and then come back when you're ready. So your independent practice for today is also found in your learning plan. However, I just want to show it to you kind of briefly. And remember, we will cover your answers from your independent practice in the next session. So again, it is found in your learning plan, but this is what this looks like. So I want to just make sure I show it to you. Please pay attention to your, um, to your intervals. These are definitely by ones. And again, I want you to label as it's listed, label your polygon and then list the order pairs of each from your pre-image, your original figure, and your image once you are done. Okay, don't forget to put your prime. So don't forget to put A prime, B prime, C prime when you are looking at your image. So go ahead and label them. And yours could be a little different, but so you're going to have A, B, C. But we're going to make sure we have the correct ordered pairs. That's what's most important. So now, once you're finished with your independent practice, Have we met our objective of the day? I will be able to define transformations, translations, and reflections. That's from video introduction. And I will be able to identify and sketch translations. I think we can do that pretty well. So our next lesson will be on translations, but we're going to be doing them vertically and horizontally. You're going to spend about 15 minutes in your Dreambox accounts today. And then I will see you during our next session.